gonna be a mess. You keep counting. Local Lens Seattle. I'm your host Kelly Hansen. Thank you for clicking on this video and as always if you like it hit that like and subscribe. Where am I? Obviously at Pike Place Market in downtown Seattle for a super amazing video today. I'm meeting a chef and learning all about this amazing market to food tour and it's all thanks to Bloodworks Northwest because there is actually a shortage on blood and they have an amazing campaign right now with local culinary communities, chefs, and restaurants, and they're doing great things, so I wanna spotlight that. So, without further ado, let's go make some food and taste some things, maybe catch a fish. I'm Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Chef Tracy. So nice to meet you, Chef. What are we doing today? Today we're doing a market to table tour of Pike Place Market. So Atrium Kitchen is a demonstration kitchen. We also do cooking classes. I absolutely love taking guests on the market to table tour and cooking class. That's where I take guests through Pike Place Market, share some of the history, of almost 115 years of history, and share some of my favorite shops, places that a chef shops. We pick up ingredients, we come back here to the atrium kitchen, and we make a meal together. We're really bringing the best of the culinary community to incentivize people to donate blood. As a chef, it made total sense. Blood nourishes our body, food nourishes our blood. We'll do um, chicken breast, if that's okay. Love it. And some king salmon. We'll prepare them the same identical way. Love it, I'm okay. so excited. Okay. Here we go, cook on. We're gonna go and actually get the ingredients for what we're cooking and we literally just have to walk right there. This is so cool. This is one of my favorite shops here at Pike Place Market. Um, this is called Market Spice. It is a chef's dream. So this is Don and Joe's. This is our only butcher shop in Pike Place Market. Oh, oh my gosh, I know we said that we were gonna do salmon and chicken, but I haven't seen halibut cheeks in a couple weeks. So apparently I can catch a fish, and I'm in all white. It's actually my worst fish. <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. but my number one favorite ingredient is their truffle salt. I will not buy truffle salt anywhere else. Yes. What? And just wait until you taste it. What is this heaven? And this is, you know, part of the experience of doing market to table. You're getting these little gems along the way um, and some of my favorite nibbles. You are literally the MVP. This has changed my life 10 out of 10. <laughs> yes! Chicken, salmon, and halibut cheek. <laughs> All the same preparation. We're using Pacific Northwest Honey from Sunny Honey, Rainier Rub from Urban Farm, and we picked up some fresh blackberries. Bon Appetit, folks. Chef Tracy, shout out to you. I'm rounding out my culinary tour with two more stops. First, chatting with the CEO and founder of Intentionalist in the International District. At Intentionalist, we believe that where we spend our money matters and that everyday decisions about where we eat, drink, and shop are an opportunity to connect with and spend like it matters in support of the local small businesses at the heart of our communities. Today, we are in Seattle's Little Saigon neighborhood at Mila Kai. I wanted to bring you here to Mila Kai not only because the restaurant has been a part of the Seattle community since the early 90s, but because the owner, Trin Ong, is a dear friend and for the past year has been battling cancer. One of the things that Milakai owner Trin Ong has become really passionate about is raising awareness not only of 
the importance of joining the bone marrow registry and donating blood, but also ensuring people from diverse communities understand that there's underrepresentation in the bone marrow registry and the blood supply, and that makes it even more important for us to choose to donate. Taste test time. I am starting with the butter glazed chicken wing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I am hooked. Okay, and then the second amazing item I'm going to be taste testing today is their house special soup. So delicious. Highly recommend coming here. Try one of their noodle soups or try my now personal favorite that I'm obsessed with, the chicken wings. Okay, I am in the Fremont neighborhood now at my third and final stop of this video, and I'm actually going to Misha, an Indian restaurant, and I get to meet the chef and possibly cook something with her. So I'm excited, let's go inside. My whole idea is to uh, bring contemporary modern Indian food with some fusion, with some not this layer. That is the whole concept here. Wherever I can help, make a huge, uh, difference, you know, if people go and donate blood, I personally uh, am going next week. During COVID time, actually I learned that, you know, life is so precious and we never know what's going to happen. So whatever we can do to help the humankind, we should. Okay, now we're going to go do a little activity and I'm going to make something with Chef and I'm super excited. So here we go. This is a very easy ve uh, vegetarian recipe that we're going to make tonight. It says heirloom roasted carrot salad that we use with some Asian grains, harissa in it, some mint, some toasted cumin. So very springy and with a lot of flavors um, and very easy to make. Taste test time. I am so excited that I got to see how to make this amazing vegetarian dish. It smells unbelievable. And this outdoor area is absolutely gorgeous. So delicious, so flavorful, just like a hint of spice. Absolutely amazing. If you like carrots on a hot day, sit out here and get this dish. Thank you so much for watching this video and as always, if you liked it, hit that like and subscribe. What an incredible cause to be a part of. It was amazing to meet all of these chefs and business leaders in the community and just see everyone band together to get more blood donations in our area. So if you too wanna donate blood and make an appointment, go to bloodworksnw.org and you'll find all the information right there. I'm going to be doing it really soon and I hope you will consider it as well. I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.